Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I thought I'd share with you some top tips to help tackle Rover's Garden Safari, including the best way to easily obtain red dahlia seeds. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just yesterday saw the start of probably the most intricate, overwhelming event yet to come to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Rover's Garden Safari kicked off with us meeting Rover for the first time in the game and to keep a long story short, introduces us to a new breed of flower and a way of catching all new creatures. By now, I'm sure you've planted a few blue and red dahlias yourself and even caught a few creatures. But I thought it would be fun to share some top tips that may help you take the most out of this event and maybe even save you some time. So straight in with the obvious, harvest as many dahlias as you can. Use every space available in your garden. This will help you attract the maximum amount of creatures to your garden. So plant a bunch of seeds and after the first batch of flowers have bloomed, you want to try and catch every single butterfly there is and then immediately harvest all the flowers and plant new ones. This will increase the chances of attracting new creatures faster. And sure enough, once the next batch has bloomed, you repeat the catching spree and harvest all the flowers again. As long as you're doing regular requests for campers, you should earn more than enough blue seeds to continue with this pattern. The next tip I would recommend is to take the time and try to catch all the creatures yourself. Lloyd is super helpful and maybe one of the most loyal characters in the game, but unfortunately his skills come at a cost of 10 leaf tickets every time you ask for his assistance. Personally, I think those leaf tickets can be better spent elsewhere in the game or even saved. Butterflies appear to have about a 50% chance of escaping, but there is more than enough time in the event to let a few fly free. Of course you can always ask Lloyd for some help towards the end of the event if you're really struggling but I'd be very surprised. Now this is all very well for all those blue dahlia seeds we keep getting but how do we get more red dahlia seeds faster? Well of course you could head around your campsite, talk to villagers and fulfill endless requests and you'll probably earn a few red dahlia seeds but there is an easier and much faster way. You simply have to share some of the creatures you've caught. Just head to a friend's garden, tap a flower and share some of your butterflies by releasing them there. When you do, Rover will come to you and tell you how impressed he is with you and reward you with some much needed red dahlia seeds as well as some friend powder. Just from experimenting with this, for the best results you can share two diamond butterflies and move on. There's a good chance you'll receive two red dahlia seeds and some friend powder. You might be thinking, whoa, wait, I've just spent all this time catching these things, why do I want to give them away? Well, you can relax because once you've caught these butterflies, they don't really serve a purpose and sharing them with your friends will not take them away from the amount you've already accumulated for Rover's tasks. For example, if you've caught 29 diamond butterflies and you're one creature away from receiving Rover's hood, giving away all 29 of these butterflies to your friends doesn't mean you'll start over. You'll still only need to catch one more. How awesome is that? Now if you feel pretty confident in growing, catching and harvesting, you might be wondering what the best way to keep track of all your progress is. Well, there's a solution. Simply tap the Rover's Garden Safari banner at the top of your screen. This will open up a special menu accessible through the banner that tells you all about the event. But what's so good about this menu is the two tasks and trade tabs. Under the tasks tab, you will see exactly what progress you've made and how many more creatures you need to catch to unlock the next item. This is a great way to quickly check your progress from anywhere in the game. What's more is you can even have a look ahead and see what other items you're working towards. There's also a clear section so you can double check what you've already been rewarded if you needed to. Pretty handy, huh? The next trade tab is another excellent menu which allows you to trade the flowers you've been harvesting without going all the way back to your garden or even talking to Lloyd. Here you can swap some of the flowers for some cool potted versions, some much needed essences or even flower food. I recommend getting potted versions of the flowers first, then trading for some flower food and then at the end of the event using the rest of your flowers to stock up on some essence and crafting materials depending what you need. So yeah, those are just some top tips that will hopefully help everyone get through this event easier. If you have any other tips that may help people, be sure to comment them below, I would love to know. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you got this far in the video, please comment Dahlia just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And be sure to include what pieces of Rover furniture you have already received. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.